Happy 2024, folks. I hope you are doing well. I thought I would start this working week with some AI thoughts. This is not my full predictions roundup. That's coming in a few days' time. But just some things that have been going on, things you might have noticed that maybe are helpful for us to be pondering as we start this working week. Yesterday, as the world turned into 2024, January 1st came about, and we welcomed the original cast of the first Disney characters into the public domain. This is something we're going to begin to start seeing a lot of this year. In those early days of cinema, when Mickey was first released, then onwards from there, there have been many new characters and pieces of IP that have been in copyright law up until this point, and are now coming into the public domain as we go into the next decade. As more stuff becomes publicly available, AI models are going to be able to scrape it, use it, and it's going to fall outside of a lot of the worries that they've had up until now in terms of licensing. So this is one certainly to watch as we go through, not just this year, but the next few years to come. This is a story that you may have missed over the Christmas and New Year's break, which is the New York Times is suing OpenAI and Microsoft for copyright infringement. They're making the claim that the company OpenAI has been using a lot of the New York Times' content in its algorithms and has been scraping it. Basically meaning that the paper's investment into creating all of its journalism is null and void because people are, through a bit of prompting, able to access it through their chat GPT. Now, this is one of what I think we'll see again throughout this year, a number of copyright suits that are going to get brought against not just OpenAI, but all of the major model providers, as so much of the content that is inside of these models has been trained on the open internet. Now, of course, not all of it has come from the original sources. Many of these articles have been quoted or re-quoted in other publications, shared in forums like Twitter and Reddit. And so, of course, they've ended up in the scraping that has been going on. But nonetheless, I think we'll see many more big publishers coming after the big model makers this year. And it's something we should be watching out keenly for, particularly if any of our clients that we're working with, either in here at Vixen Labs on House 337 or wider afield, have got content that may have also been brought into these algorithms. One of the stories that I think is particularly telling of where we're at in the UK economy right now is this recent report showing that businesses in the UK are currently missing out on the AI revolution. Reporting here just yesterday uh, coming out of the Times shows that due to a sample of 1,150 employees who were asked by researchers whether or not they'd invested in AI technology in the past 12 months, only 11% of them said they had. Now, this type of stat can sometimes be a little bit misleading because obviously it depends on what types of businesses were asked in this survey, of which I don't have that information. But the findings that were yeah, coming across 2,000 companies when it was back in 2022 say that more people had invested in these, particularly including things like robots and chat smart assistants, cloud computing, there's been a lot of investment going on into this. But I think that this study, whether or not it should be holding a lot of water or not, is worth paying attention to because I think this is one of our primary jobs in the next 12 months, is to really help the British economy start taking advantage of AI in the proper way. Many of them are already doing so in the form of using the tools and techniques that we all are deploying in our day-to-day -day work, whether that's talking to an AI chatbot in Slack or making use of things like beautiful.ai to make slide presentations or using ChatGPT to analyze data. All of this stuff is technically adopting AI. But what I think we're really looking for is businesses in the UK to start really leveling up their experience beyond just the personal into the team and enterprise level adoption of AI. Teams looking for tools that fill those solutions and enterprises actually building emergent solutions. As we go into 2024, I think this story from the New York Times is going to be pretty telling of the type of hiring practices we're going to see in knowledge worker settings and maybe more broadly than that in the economy, both in the US and particularly here in the UK. More and more jobs are going to be looking for people that don't necessarily come from traditional academic backgrounds, university degrees or college qualifications, but those that are actually skilled in using the AI tools that we've all come to know and love. The flip side of this is I think that workers are also going to get more mindful of the way in which they actually use AI in their work, whether that's being more conscious about how they prompt whether or not they're putting data into these algorithms and models, but also they might be paying more attention to the way in which the businesses that they work for are using their data. It's not too far away, I think, before we start seeing industrial tribunal suits and employment challenges coming about from the use of AI, either in the hiring practices or the management practices of some of these firms. And so whether you want a new collar worker, as these people are described, who have these AI skill sets in your business or not, it's something that we should all be paying attention to. So those are just a few thoughts about where the future of 2024 might go. This is, as I say, not my official trends prediction. Much more will come about. But maybe I'll just end it with this quote as we get going into the start of January, which says the way to cope with the future is to create it. And that is all of our jobs. So I hope that gives you a few things to think about as we start January in 2024. If you've got thoughts or comments, stick them in the chat below or wherever you're watching this video. And I hope you're having a very good start to your new year. Cheers. 
Judas. 